Yes. My friends, good morning. How are you today? You've got very chill sounds, got chill music. And it's coming from the game Detroit. We are, um, the reason I put this up right away is because I was, I turned the game on and I was presented with this question. As I told you last time, uh, I played through the game all the way once and, um, at the end of the game, they asked, that the, the, the android asked, can I go? Can I leave? <clears throat> to which I said, okay, let her, you know, I was on, I played the whole game in a, um, like a pacifist kind of role, pacifist kind of way. <clears throat> and so I was on that whole vibe. And she said, can I go? I want to go explore the world. And I said, yes. So she, she left. And so we played up and we played the first day of um, Detroit become human with no um, Android on the home screen. But now CyberLife is offering us a new Android for the home screen. So let's do it. Let's see what happens. Hello. Welcome to the Detroit experience. Oh. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Chloe's here. Hello, hostess Chloe. All right. So now we've got a now we've got This is what it looked like when I turned the game on the first time. Is you had this person, this android there. Dude, the graphics are insane. So good. Um I should get some water. I'm gonna get some water real quick. Hang on, I'll be right back. <sighs> All right, we're back. Oh, you know what we didn't talk about, by the way? We didn't talk about, um, end of last week, I mentioned I was going to go to the, um, Arcane premiere. Um, League of Legends, uh, has a new series on Netflix. Um, they did- Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? What? What? Until you decide what happens. Everything is happening at once, like in Detroit. Okay, thanks, Chloe. Okay. Um, maybe I should keep it on Chloe for a minute. Um, yeah, so they've got nine episodes divided into three blocks. They, they premiered three episodes. I went to the premiere. It was fun. I put it on my Instagram. I hope you saw it. That show is insane. It looks, I've never seen anything that looks like that. And if you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. Um, it was like spectacular. Um, okay, so I think Chloe's gonna keep talking to us if we don't play. So uh, let's continue our story with, uh, who are we starting with today? There's like a few different characters, right? 
Marcus and Kara and um, what's the police guy's name? That character? Oh, by the way, hold on, Connor. Okay, so what happened, if you recall, in the last, when we played the game last time, Kara ran away from her abusive situation with the little girl, Alice. And we got them to the point where they had to decide where to sleep for the night to, keep, to lay low, and they slept in the car. Uh, Connor is on the case trying to, like, figure out what's going on with the androids. And he saw, he found a murder, and they arrested and, de and um, interrogated an android. And Marcus got shot. Marcus worked for a, an artist. The artist's son was a drug addict. And he showed up wanting to steal art and, like, steal mon basically steal money from his dad. And they got into an altercation, and Marcus shoved him, and he shoved him, but the guy fell onto like a like a metal thing and like was bleeding. So we assume he's dead or something. But as soon as the police showed up, they saw dead human and android, and they shot Marcus the android. And so that's where we pick up the story. Marcus is not looking so good. This is Marcus. Where are we, Marcus? We're in like a junkyard. Marcus looks like the Terminator. Okay. What's going on? What do we got? Whoa, it's hard to like even land on this here. Uh-oh. His audio processor is damaged. His optical unit is corrupted. Oh, he has a corrupted mind palace. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. I think we're missing legs. Yeah. Missing a leg? Missing both legs. Okay. Can't stand up. And his Ethereum pump regulator is in is defective okay that ethereum is like their blood so i'm assuming that means basically like his heart so he's lucky he's not dead replace legs yes let's replace some legs how do we do that oh q e okay we're crawling with our hands oh that's creepy forgot about how creepy this scene is. It's a really good scene. This was... I uh, saw this the last time. I played this scene the last time I played the game. Let's get that leg, Marcus! I wonder if that hurts Marcus. He does feel pain. All right, we've got a left. We've got a right leg. We need a left leg. Incompatible. Ugh. Can be free. Oh, 
We're gonna spare her. AK-700 Android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? Oops. Hello. I'm an AK-700 Android. I My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest CyberLife Maintenance Center. Gotta find a pump regulator. What's that over there?
This is good, guys. Is there anything else we should look at while we're here? I don't see anything. Okay. Marcus. Replaced his parts. He's making the climb. That's a great way to start the day, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Have we seen, have you guys seen one of these scenes yet? With Amanda? For those of you that didn't, uh, haven't played the game before? No, this is our first Amanda scene, oh. All right. So, introducing Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant <clears throat> is far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? Do we... Um, yeah, first of all, no spoilers, chat. Second of all, with Connor, we're going to have Marcus be like he's not afraid to, to, um, to resort to violence to free his people, okay? That's his... If he needs to... He'll do anything it takes to be a free android. Connor, we have to decide if Connor, I think I want to, to do, because last time I played this, I did, I had Connor be, you know, sympathetic. And I think I want both Marcus and Connor to be ruthless. We do that. So let's get in character. We're going to choose violence. That's right. 
He was so he she asked about the 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 android we saw. The android was a deviant. It showed all the signs of deviancy. Cognitive instability, unpredictable behavior, and the emulation of human emotions. It was even afraid to die. The model was clearly defective. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Should we not know? Let's not know. I don't have enough data to decide that yet. I'll learn more about him and try to adapt my behavior accordingly. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Okay, you guys. We also have to decide... Well, I'm not gonna give it away yet. I'm not gonna give it away. Alright, let's look for Lieutenant Anderson. Where is Hank? Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. This is in here. Anything? You might be in shock. Just Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. Yeah. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat to a flash. All right, what's going on? Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties. I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. The Minister for Defense, Dennis It's that desk right there. spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. Countries in the region, particularly Sweden and What do we see around here? Let's look. Let's walk around a bit. So far, there has been no response. Keel Brown. Moscow or oh, these are just people's names. We'll keep you informed minute by minute. Okay, so here's Hank's desk. Found it. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson you usually arrives? Come with me. Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Hmm. Let's explore. Let's look at Hank's desk. What's Hank all about? Knights of the Black Death. I love it. Call. Who are we calling? Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Hank drinks coffee. Hank kills bonsai trees. Hank, of course, eats donuts. 
Uh, Anti-Android slogans. Alright, Hank does not like me. Hank does like basketball. Research. What is this? Uh, more than 50 arrests throughout the city. Towards find his death. Massive bullet seals. Root ice epidemic. Detective Hank Anderson. Young but hugely talented detective. Youngest lieutenant on the Detroit Police Force. Alright, Hank is... Hank's seizing all the ice. Red Ice Task Force. Matches from Jimmy's Bar. Alright. And he has a St. Bernard dog. Alright. We got everything. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Should we explore the office some more, or should we... Listen in on Hank. Let's just go check out this little Detroit today since it's sitting here. All right, President Warren at 33% approval. There are robotic children. The perfect child is one click away. We're out of here. We're talking. It's now a criminal investigation. We've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know <laughs> jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job, or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. <coughs> I would like to start reviewing the case files. Can you tell me where I can- Talk to Hank. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. See the deviant. Uh, how do I do this here? Am I going this way? There we go. What do we see here? Meeting room, bathroom. All right, I already know where to go, so we're gonna go in here. What? What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you!
It's probable. They have to analyze your bio components. They need to understand what happened. I know there's something you didn't tell me. I need to know before they take you away. The sculpture you made. Tell me more about it. I'm going to die. Open the cell, quick! Hurry! I'll call Cyberlife. Clean this mess up. Come on. <laughs> What's funny is like when the play controls get a little wonky and I like don't know where I'm going, um, it actually makes him look even more like a weird android character. <laughs> Alright, let's go check on Hank and see what he wants to do. Should we construct constructive or pragmatic? It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Oh, no, Connor, that's not what we want. Desk. How about, let's be positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. All right. We need Hank. To You're a talk Detroit to Gears us. fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. <laughs> Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's hey. ask about Fowler. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Lab reports yeah. Too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? I'm gonna start working, because I did the dog thing before. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Let's ask about the you dog. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. 
I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Hank has a Saint Bernard named Sumo. Don't let me forget that. I'm gonna ignore the anti-android stuff because I feel like I don't want to just get into an argument with Hank about that. All right, so we've got a missing android. Okay. AL series android. Attack. This, I love that this one is the android tried to choke somebody at a hot dog stand. <laughs> That's pretty funny. They attack by our android. Okay. Let's scan these files. Oh, I probably should have paid attention to that. 243 files. Oh, First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Let's be professional. I know you didn't ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? That's not very professional, Hank. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Hey. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. Lab report says they I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. Maybe they're trying not to... It's been seen in the Ravendale nice. district. Told you so, I'm Hank. Told you so. <laughs> Fucking Hank, man. Right? Don't be scared, Connor. Don't worry about it. You were right. You were right. By the way, notice that Hank is mad is the only option here. It's the only option. I don't wonder what this was though. I had to do I had to do the uh androids if you if you um ask Hank about the androids, I think. No? Oh, there was something else in the uh, in the in the room that I, if I had done it, that's probably what it was right there. All right, fine. All right, we slept in the car. How did that go for us? I did not sleep in the car last time. Change appearance and cut hair. How am I gonna do that? this? Death to androids. Oh, okay. Hmm. Alright. What else is in here? Ooh, cyber wildlife.
Zoo talking about educating and inspiring the younger generation about the importance of protecting our environment by showing them c cyber life animals. Uh, okay, Canada is an android free zone. Androids are not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. That's important, guys. There we go. That's what we need. Titman! All right, Kara. Let's cut your hair. This is a part of the game you cannot avoid. She likes it. All right, accessing new hair color options. We gonna be brown, blonde, white, or black hair? Should we put a poll? You do a poll in the chat. Brown, blonde. White or black? Um, new poll. All right. Poll for one minute. The. All right. The poll is running. Control plus in your window, oh, I believe a little purple box. Um, currently we got 54% of the vote says white hair for Kara. Um, wow, that's a lot. You guys really prefer the white hair. Okay, well, assuming it goes that direction. Yeah, there's no coming back from that. Okay, um, white hair it is. Here we go. This is what it looks like. There you go. Looking good? Yes? I'm gonna double check the results here. Yeah, white won by a, with a 54%, um, 54% of the vote. Okay, finish. What am I removing? Oh, I'm removing the little... Oh. Kara, doing it just like Marcus. Interesting, huh? All right, there she is. She's ready to go. Um, what else? Well, do we, can we get Alice? We can't get her. What did we saw this? Okay, so we can go. Oh, oops, this way. Let's see what's out here. Hmm. Police are patrolling the area. saw yesterday. He gave me an address. He said we could get help there. 
The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. You're pretty like that. Thanks, Alice. You really look like a human now. Anything else in here that we can do now? Alright, All right, what was the sign? Alright, escape the district, leave the parking lot. I don't see any police right now. Oh shit. Police are on our trail. Right. Tank! That's all for now. Ready to go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned, it was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Uh-oh. Train station, follow that train. Okay, where are we gonna go? Danger level, danger level. He was over there, right? Alright, so I guess we just go keep going straight. Let's hide. Ooh, lots of cops over there. That's not good. So, 40% danger level, 33% danger level. Huh. I guess we go here? Okay, 82 meters to get right there. Okay. It's right over there. Should we cross the street? more cops over there. It's going to go across the street. There are cops over here, aren't there? Oh. Put it back? That's a weird thing to do. We need to get over there, huh? Okay, are we gonna hide by the ATM or by the... So far we've been good hiding behind these things. So far so good. Far. We'll find it sooner or later. Let's go. Oh, 
Connor knows, man. He knows. Did it. Man, that was a tough one. Made me nervous. I'm pretty sure that if we had, um, if I had not held down the buttons correctly, we would have Life has provided Detroit it up. police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We have contacted Cyberlife for comment, but no longer. We are now approaching Burnout Station. Please take care of stepping onto the platform. Customers are reminded that all androids must run in the designated area. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. So that, that android gave him information. We're looking for this symbol. Oh, hey, what's that right there? Find the symbol, find the symbol. Oh, what's that right there? New symbol. It's like a yellow bear thing. Okay. She's having trouble getting through the door, that was awesome. All right. Oh, sorry. Excuse me.
I'm not looking for much. Last time I did this, I could, it took me a minute to figure out this part, so um, if that happens again, bear with me here. Okay, find a way to reach the roof. Oh, what's this? Oh, that was it. Okay, great. Come on. Come on. For some reason with this, I was like running all over the place trying to find the way to get up here and I couldn't do it, so. Eventually I did. Sparkle. So this is a new thing that happens in the game. The pre-construct. So you gotta choose your route. Use the following key to preview this route. Oh, would be too unstable. So then we re rewind and try this route. Unlock. Execute. See it from this angle. Uh, oh, there we go. Come on, Margus. Uh, there we go.
So Jericho is a boat. What's that over there? Should I go over there or should I go over here? Let's go this way because I think I went the other way last time. Ha! Okay, that's not the way. Deviant signs. Android sol soldiers, perfect killing machines. Okay. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extinction events. Help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities, ensuring humanity is never caught off guard. Despite doomsday prediction from those fearful that AI is gaining too much influence already. Hmm. All machine crews to space. Is there something 
something over here. Okay, I think we're good. Did it go? Go that way. You knew that was gonna happen, didn't you? Marcus. There we go. There we go. An open door. Here we go. What have we found, everybody? did it. We made it to Jericho. We're really powering through this game, by the way. We're, we're going very fast. The first time I did this, I was a lot slower. Alright, I'm supposed to reconcile with Hank. I guess Connor's not supposed to be a total dick. Let's see, is there anything else to do? Oh, a shit hot tip, huh? You want a flutter? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on, this is different. It's 100% guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Illegal gambling fraud. What's up there? <laughs> Sanitation rating C. That's great. I love it. Who's this guy? Resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Amazing. No criminal record. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. <laughs> Hey, you won't regret this. Unsavory characters. What is your problem? Frank, Hank? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <sighs> Let's reconcile. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? <laughs> Look, they sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're going to be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Okay, Hank. Oh, 
Oh, pineapple passion. Nice choice, Hank. Here you go. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Yeah. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Cholesterol? Let's talk about this cholesterol. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. But he's got to die of something. Uh, let's talk about gambling. This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Uh, let's talk about deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? <laughs> We're gonna give him the, the uh, psychological conclusion? What do we think, chat? What are we, what are we gonna say to him? Number two? Should I be sincere or psychological? Number two. Okay. I know you're an experienced officer. And I'd like to earn your trust. I'm sure we can solve this case if we manage to work together. I just got a report of a suspected deed. So when he says psychological, it wasn't letting Hank know what's wrong with him. It was playing with Hank's brain. I'll let you finish. He's doing the right, you know. I'll be in the car if you need me. He, he, Connor assessed the situation and gave him the answer he wanted to hear. That's hey, great. Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> All right. What do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding in rock pigeon. An LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. 
Okay, so there's like, what was that? Some pigeon? Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. Hmm. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Supposed to question the suspect, huh? Nothing in here. Okay. Travis, forgery. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Military. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Let's go over here. Pitch black, but I'm assuming there was nothing in there. I need some fresh air. Urban farm. Recently moved. Let's not do it. Ugh, oh, we've got to do it. I want to look at the rest of the room. Found something? I don't... I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Uh, uh. Alright, suspect doesn't eat. We know what that means. Cares for wild animals, that's weird. Look around in here, nothing else. Okay, going in the next room. Let's sample it. Jesus, I hate these things. Oh. WB two hundred. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. All right, there's all the RA9. The Deviant was taking care of the birds. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? It's like mazes or something.
Okay. Okay, in the living room. Real books. I thought I was the lad. This guy in Detroit to keep some. Well, he drew that weird, like, like octagon can't. thing on the wall in here. Smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. Recent skid mark. No fingerprints. Metal hook. Entrance. Heard us enter. Um, ah, there we go. Suspect is still here. All right, let's yeah, go right. get him. Let's go after him. Uh, balanced. Safe detour. Let's go there. Gotta get the guy. Gotta leave Hank. Let's do it. Please. I've done nothing wrong. I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-4961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class four errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is 
that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up. All right. Come along. All right, now you save me. Hey, what the fuck? Last time I played, I saved Hank. Decided that I didn't want to save Hank this time. <laughs> Burning bridges, Connor. That's right. Hank doesn't like being left to die. Hank was fine. Who are you? He's Hank was fine. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Android. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost, just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I, I don't want to shut down. threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? 
They won't. We're slowly dying out. are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I've talked. Oh, I haven't talked to everybody in here yet. I haven't done everything in here yet. was your function before coming here? What do you care? A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Looks like I did everything in this room. I'm gonna go talk to Lucy. Is it one of these characters singing? Maybe it's Lucy singing. There she is. Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding.
drink this? Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. a plan my choices are gonna shape their destiny what are we gonna do guys we gotta think about our our choices here what are we gonna do Simon <coughs> I know where we can find spare parts cyber life warehouse is in Detroit Harbor they have everything we need the docks are guarded we can't just walk in there and take what we want Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Okay. I'm in. All right, Josh. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's go. One more? I'll do one more. What do we think about this place? I want to know why Alice doesn't put her hood up. I mean, she's literally just like, they're both soaked. Both of them have a hood, not using it. All right, here we go. Nothing else around. The ring again. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. I don't remember hearing about Zlatko. Getting help from Zlatko. Did we? I guess the robot, I mean the android on the street, like, telepathically told her. To do it, to go to Zlatko. Come I mean, they in. said it's across, across town, right? All right. So nothing in here at this moment. Luther, 
Would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. Don't like it. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Hmm. Nothing around here. Right this way? Nothing around there. Wait, what does it say? Follow Everything we need is in the basement. Yeah, in the basement. Hmm. We don't like it. We don't like the basement. Nope. I don't like this place. And that man. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. Careful? We'll be careful. I, I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Come on, Alice. This way, please. If you could just stand over there. Alright, I've got to enter. I don't have a choice. Don't like it. We don't like it, guys. We don't have a choice. Gonna be careful. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For 
some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You Deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet, and so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. What do we do? Is there anything we can do, guys? Reset, reset. No! what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Tears and disillusionment. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. All right, we need to do something here. What are we gonna do? Don't, I think our memory, our memory has been, has been wiped. Cause a short circuit. What else we got? Push, let's push that. Okay, we've got that. What is, what else? What are these? Green cable, yellow cable, what do they go to? Let's push this, what does this do? Okay. I don't know what the green cables and the yellow cables go to. Green cable. Did it, you guys! I got out of there. Yes. Okay. Whew, that was a close one. Oh, I repaired the memory corruption. That's good. Gotta find Alice. Okay, hold on. What's in the room? Anything? Nothing in the room. Oh. Is this? Creating 
monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. else? Nothing else. Okay. I'm supposed to meet Luther in the living room. Let's find out what that's all about. Luther! Luther! Yes, Laco. Should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Laco. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. Ten minutes. Why are you creeping so quietly? Okay, front door is locked. We gotta find Alice, guys. the way. Alice still inside. Back door is open. Was there something over here? Oh, that's the door. Should we go in here? Let's go in here. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you look. What are you doing? He's just standing there. We went in that... Did we go in that first door? Oh, we went right in there. So we gotta go right past him. Wait, can we go through, out through a different door? Is there another door? There's not. Jesus. Okay, we gotta walk, walk right by the guy then. I knew that... that guy in the bathtub wasn't gonna do anything. Okay, what do we got in here? That's This is what we need. Let's do this. It's not loaded. Okay, we need ammunition for the gun. 
Or not, it's, there's no time to read. here. No, I'm not turned. Oh, is this a light? That's a TV. Okay, get out of there. I don't care about that. What's over here? Is this a second door? What is that? That's the door of the other room. Okay. So there's no ammunition. We didn't find any ammunition. We found the gun. We didn't find any ammunition. ammunition. Cara. Cara, you remember me. How could I forget you? I'm so sorry. You were know, you know, We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? Okay, should we grab the, should we go back in and get the, hey, let's Luther. go this, let's go in here, hide. Yes, Lako. I'm finished here, go fetch the little one. Right away. Lako! What? The little one is gone! Let's set fire to this well, place. I just disappeared. You gotta be here somewhere. Yeah. What are you doing? Look at yourself. Go look. Gotta get downstairs to that back door. Let's go. Okay, he's shooting. Back door, of course. you dreams always end in tears you should have listened to me what are you doing get out of my way no not this time i said get out of my way or i'll shoot right through you What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! Him. 
when I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. All right, you guys, we did it. And now, before we go, some shouts. We've got a bunch to do. Actually, it's not that bad. Uh, Mary from Mars resubbed. LNLP fan, Yasmin F93, Sign LP, Resub Prime. Smart. Uh, Yasmin F93 gifted, Lucky Strike J, Alex 200, Resub Prime. Smart. Brava gave out a sub, Omni Master resub, Char 112, resub, Josh RMRT, Sub Prime. Smart. Shiro CT sub, Yasmin F93 gifted. On the bright side of HB, gifted five. Nice, 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 Brava nice, gifted nice, again. Youth Gone Wild gifted. Nice, nice, nice. Alex Ian Lechan, 95. Prime. Smart. Stat 661 resub. Trisha 317 gifted. Hyper Shinoda gifted. Ali H gifted. Nice, 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 nice. Spooky Ghost resub and Craft McNeil resub. The Prime. Thank you guys very much. And. Can I look for a raid real quick here? Oh, there's no new raids. Okay. Um, I guess we're just gonna, I guess it's my choice then. All right. You guys gonna go see Co Carnage? Please tell him I said hello. And uh, I'm out of here. Okay. See you guys Wednesday. We'll follow up. We'll do do some more of this this uh, this game. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a good Tuesday. We'll see you guys later. Bye.